I'm on J Street because it gives me an opportunity to express my views on Israel with integrity and in a way that will make an impact. I'm on J Street because I believe that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is the major moral issue that American Jews have to grapple with. I'm on J Street because, because time is running out and we need to stop playing politics and start looking forward. For me, the miracle of Jewish return to sovereignty is the values that Israel embodies. It's that Jews created a state that according to the Declaration of Independence would be guided by the principles of freedom, justice, and peace as envisioned by the Hebrew prophets. And what J Street is about, it seems to me in part, is making sure that we can return Israel to a country that lives out the values of its Declaration of Independence throughout all of the territory that it controls. And that's a very, very important mission. I believe strongly in bringing Jewish values and Jewish traditions into every part of my life. I, as a Jew, should be concerned about human rights violations in Darfur, about the rights of immigrants in the United States, about the prevalence of poverty in the United States. And yet, I shouldn't bring these Jewish values into discussions about how we treat the Palestinians. But Jewish values speak to every part of life and the Jewish state should be the place where Jewish values are most alive. And so I don't want to have to check my Jewish values at the door when I engage in Israel. All of us in this conversation want a democratic, Jewish, secure Israel. I hated the fact that pro-Israel had been taken away from the progressive, liberal left in Jewish life. I always felt like I was pro-Israel. J Street sends a message, at least to me, that says your opinion matters. It provides a place where people can have honest and wide-ranging conversations. I was on the APAC board for five years in Tucson. I got involved with the Federation, got involved with Israel bonds at the time. And it seems as though the pro-Israel community in the United States has been run for years uh, with the explicit understanding that suggestions or criticisms are just not allowed to be expressed out loud and that that's good for the Jewish people and that's good for Israel. Now I look at that and say how can that be good for anyone? I think the message is that you can be someone who simultaneously loves and supports Israel and voices concern about Israeli policies. Last summer I was in Jerusalem and one of the most amazing things about being there for me was working with young Israelis who were participating in the struggle for a better Israel to create a, a new bond between Americans and Israelis who have similar values was a, a new form of Zionism for me. It was a kind of Zionism that never existed before, I don't think. It seems to me American Jews, given our history of struggling for democracy in our own society, uh, given how closely we identify Americanism with democracy, should be involved in that struggle. We shouldn't be on the sidelines. We shouldn't be bystanders. I now have a one-year-old daughter who's an Israeli citizen. I can't imagine her as an 18-year-old making the decision about whether to enlist in the Israeli army and still have the possibility of serving in the settlements. It's inconceivable to me that this conflict can still be in the same place that it is now 17 or 18 years from now. And so I have to believe that peace is possible. So J Street has to be out there much more. It has to be much louder. We need every single voice in the Jewish community to speak up. Our voice is a strong, legitimate, and growing voice. We want uh, America to take an active role, and what we want is going to be good for America and good for all of the stakeholders. I hope that J Street can go out of business, that we'll have uh, a third or a fourth annual dinner, and then we'll say, we won, we can all go home. Winning is winning for everybody. Winning is peace. Winning is a democratic Jewish Israel. That's nobody losing, that's everybody winning.